Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a link in the connector from scratch. Actually today I choose a circular link and other links. So here we have a lot of spline line. This dot shows a spline line, okay, spline pointers. So we have to take this point back, okay. Here there's a link, it's a connector, it says a connector. So say connector CRV by the guide. Here, connector says from link to link. So we are going to connect only two lanes. So avoid one lane, one lane, just connect two lanes, lane two with lane two, lane three with lane three. Okay. Again, in the connector, we have here all the options. If you make the lane change, okay, you can here adjust it to the left, to the right, none. This means when the vehicles are moving from other lanes, when they are getting to this connector, they they are like requested to lane to change the lane or not. In the same way, you can change the parameters over here. Okay, so it's changing like this. Okay, you can minimize this like this. this to make it like actual but we have to generate spline line here we have spline line we have two option they say like change spline line like spline line point should be added to links and connectors to replicate curvature in the field or design plans however vehicle behavior is not affected by sharp versus like gradual curves 
In other words, a vehicle will maintain the same speed throughout the link, okay? Unless we apply the reduced speed in the connector. Okay. So it seems like like this. By holding like this, you can adjust. Okay, so this is the circular link. Again, we have to create approaches. Okay, hold the right click and from the waist direction, name it the waist pound. Okay, increase the number of the number of lengths. In the same way, you have to change these parameters. Okay, here we have created four length. Again, here we have exit. Okay, look at the direction. Look at the direction. Here, create the lane like this. The exit is three lane. Okay. Exit. Okay. Here we have also exit two lane. Sorry, two lane. Here we have entry three lane. Here we have the exit two lane. Don't forget to give names for each approach. Okay. This is this approach bound. Okay. Three lane. Okay. This one is exit with two lane. North bound. Exit. The entry. Three lane, okay, we have created like this. So we have to connect these all links. Look at the directions, okay? So let's connect this with this one, okay? Hold this, this point and drag to this circle. That's you have to click over here control and right click so it says add connector then the new window is out don't forget to do it again okay again here give the spline line okay again from this circular round up to this okay the spline line okay. don't worry about the shapes you can adjust it later okay you can also connect this one here when we see the fourth lane we have one lane which is connected to this direction and three lanes are connected to this direction okay so we have to create here or connect three lane with three lane okay like this don't worry about the shape you can adjust okay again hold right click and connect with this Okay. Connect only one lane with one lane. Like this. Just increase the spline line. Again, connect this with this. Line line, line line, okay. Again, connect this one 
to this circle. Don't forget to, to hold the control button and the right, the right button, the right uh, mouse button. Okay, connect like this. Okay. By the way, you can right click and you can recalculate the spline. Okay, it automatically calculates. Okay. Drop like smooth curvature. Okay. Again, you can make connector from here to this direction. Okay, don't forget to spline. Okay. Here we connected lane 3 with lane 2. We have to connect lane 2 with lane 2, lane 1 with lane 1. Okay, like this. Connecting this one. Add this line line. Here, all the links are connected with the link. Okay, again, connecting this to this direction. Here, also, we have to connect the circular link only the two lanes with two lane exit pointers. So this is how to create a link and how to adjust the spline line. Okay, as I showed you, we can recalculate the spline line. We can add the spline line. If you want to add the spline line, you can here say generate spline line and you can add the spline line to have like smooth curvature. Okay, so based on this, we can simply create or define a link in the connector. Thank you very much. See you next time.